Hey, good evening. Tonight we're gonna do 10 minutes and talk about the digestive system. So I'll go as fast as I possibly can. Um, the digestive system I wanted just to explain, it plays a large role in the acidity of our body. Um, it is extremely important for your body to be in a basic balanced state to avoid acidity. The root of many problems. So I have a friend who actually does a business and teaches people about keeping their body basic instead of high acidic because the acidity in your body is measure, measured as pH. So she works on the pH. It's important to know that the pH of your blood is very different than the pH of your stomach and your digestive tract. Many people think that too much acid in the stomach is a bad thing, when in fact, too low of stomach acid is actually the cause of digestive distress. So that was something new to me. Your body needs hydrochloric acid in the stomach to properly break down food and absorb vital nutrients. So tonight we're gonna talk about the digestive system and what does Young Living have to offer and what are some lifestyle changes that we can all make um, to improve on. I think the digestive system is pretty amazing. That it functions on its own, we don't have to think about it, but maybe that's one of the problems that you may be dealing with in your life. Maybe you feel bloated, maybe you have gas, maybe you are constipating, you're sitting on the stomach, on the, um, toilet all the time. Maybe when you go to bed, you're just like, oh my gosh, or you're nauseous or queasy. It may be due to, maybe it's foods or there's some things that we can talk about um, that can help your um, system. So before I go into any of the Young Living products, I'm going to share with you the lifestyle, some of the tips that I've um, researched. So drink a glass. Of, I've been doing this for a long time now where I drink a glass of water, a couple drops of lemon oil um, immediately upon waking. It helps cleanse the body. Your body's been at rest through sleeping and then you can have the lemon, um, lemon water. So I like to actually, I've learned this from Susan, um, my upline leader. She taught me about this when I was doing a two week cleanse years ago. Um, cranberry, I buy the cranberry concentrate um, from the store and I do about two tablespoons of that. Um, I do a couple drops of lemon essential oil and then it's just a good cleanse and I do it in warm water. It's better for you um, upon waking. Then do some daily deep breathing, whether it's yoga or just breathing in your bed or maybe you're reading a book or writing your journal, deep breathing. That's another great way to help take care of your digestive system. Isn't that awesome? Um, avoid processed foods, the white and the boxed foods. Stay away from those. Always go on the outer circumference of the store and take care of your body with the fresh fruits and vegetables. Exercise three to five days a week. Go fresh walking. Figure out something that you can do that you love. Increase your fruits and veggies. Um, drink room temperature water between meals. So I actually don't drink liquids while I eat. I haven't done it for a long time, not because I knew it was better for me. My kids in high school, actually, when they were taking health class, they taught them that as well. But I traditionally have just done that, and then I drink my water in between. And doing my research, water, warm water, um, I do more, room temperature water is what I do. I don't do ice water. And then drink your body weight in ounces with your citrus oils. Um, comment below any citrus oils you like to drink with water. Um, I typically do 15 cups of water every single day, and I always do the first one with five drops of lemon. So I do one drop per cup, and everybody's different on how they want to do it, and that's totally fine. And then um, I just mix and match um, orange, grapefruit, whatever. You guys can share what you like to do with your citrus oils and your waters. Please share um, below. My husband likes to mix them. I'm pretty plain Jane and do one at a time. So um, I'm going to share with you some oils that I love to use when I have some digestive issues and trying to help cleanse my system. Peppermint is my number one. I take a couple drops. I don't have any oils tonight. Um, take a couple drops of my peppermint. I just rub it clockwise right on my straight on my stomach. Your stomach may be sensitive and it may be a little hot, so you can put a carrier oil on it like coconut oil or um, almond oil or something like that. Um, another one that I absolutely love is lemon. I typically drink it, but I've done it on my stomach as well and just clockwise taking care of that digestive system. My ultimate favorite is lemongrass. It's another hot one, but I love it on my stomach. Copaiba is a great one. It helps magnify it, but it's also good for the digestive health. Digize number one in your premium starter kit. It's a great one. Aroma Ease comes in a little green bottle. It's an awesome one for you as well. One I don't use is oregano. When I was doing my research, it's great for the digestive system. So research that. Nutmeg is great for energy and digestion. Wintergreen, thyme, and tarragon. Those are all the essential oils that you can use um, for your digestive health. Now, how do I use it? 
Um, you can put it in the diffuser. So um, I have friends, we've been doing peppermint today because we love the fresh scent with grapefruit. Um, that's good for your digestive system and getting that whole aroma therapy and then deep breathing as well. Um, another way that I use it most commonly is directly under my tongue. The Jai Jai's is one I do. Peppermint I put directly under my tongue because one drop under my tongue is about seven drops in a capsule. So I'm saving myself money if you can stand it. I have friends who are like, that is disgusting. I can't stand it. Then put it on your stomach. You know, figure out a way that's going to be best for you. So that's another one, um, how I use it either on my stomach or under my tongue, um, the Vitality ones. So that's a great way um, to use these essential oils. Now, there are amazing supplements that Young Living has that you've got to try and really experiment with and give it a try. Number one, you guys probably already know it. I'm wearing red, right? Ningxia Red. Take it every single day. Um, let me tell you, it's a whole food. So most of our whole foods, you know, come from our fruits and vegetables and eating those. I'm not saying not to eat those, but we're just lacking so many minerals and vitamins and our food is just kind of not as good as it used to be. So we get the Ningxia Red to help us have phytonutrients. Our body thrives off of them and they need them. So just even doing two ounces a day is going to really help your digestive system. So Ningxia Red is number one. Alkaline comes in little packets or you can buy the alkaline and you can scoop it out. It's kind of like Alka-Seltzer it reminds me of, like a little lemon lime soda. I don't take them on a regular basis. I typically take them if I've had um, some foods that I wasn't supposed to have or my stomach wasn't feeling right, typically when I'm on vacation, I take those little packets with me and then I ingest them. Now, some people have dealt with some chronic issues and they take one every day to help keep their pH. Alkaline is great to help your body's natural pH. Well, guess what thrives in an acidic environment? Cancer, all these different illnesses. So we want to keep our body not as acidic. We want to keep it basic. So this is a great one to take. Life 9. It used to be Life 5. It's a probiotic supplement you keep in the fridge. You're supposed to take it nighttime, but take it whenever you remember because I have a hard time remember to take it at night. <laughs> um, but Life 9 is one that we need to restore the probiotic probiotics in our body. Antibiotics and pharmaceuticals destroy all the good and bad gut bacteria. So the best way to restore it is by taking a supplement and getting that into our body. And that's what we have from Young Living. He's given us an awesome, Gary Young has created an awesome supplement for us. Essential Zyme 4. There are several Essential Zymes that are great. I always recommend Essential Zyme 4. Um, this is an excellent digestive support that you take right before you eat. If you can't remember, just take it even once a day. It's still going to be good for your body. Um, Digize, like I said, and Comfort Tone, I've used a couple times. Um, this assist in supporting your normal bowel, bowel regularity. So if you're dealing with some bowel movement issues or digestive issues, really, you know, go back to like, okay, what do I think is causing it? Is it my foods? Is it the processed foods? Is it the alcohol? Is it red meat? Processed meats are other acidic things that could be causing issues. Dairy can cause issues, even some grains. Everyone's body responds differently, and those are all you can Google acidic foods um, to stay away from if you're dealing with that because you can create that lifestyle plus add all these supplements to help benefit your digestive system. And the last one is Omega Gize. It is so amazing for your brain food, but it's also for your um your digestive system. It contains the fat soluble vitamin D3, which is absorbed primarily in your small intestine. So I challenge you, comment below, what is one supplement you want to try to take care of your digestive system? And please share what essential oils you have used and how you've used it um, for your digestive system. We would love to share. We can all teach each other. We're all learning. And then the last thing I was going to say is I know Gatorade is a huge drink right now going on with my son and water polo, um, with different sports going on cross country. You've got soccer going on, lots of sports, and a lot of people tend to do Gatorade. Well, let me teach you a natural and more healthier version of that. It's an electrolyte blend and I'll, I'll share the, um, the blend uh, recipe with you in just a minute, but it's a quart of water, just a, a quarter teaspoon of Himalayan sea salt, some baking soda, some raw honey, and eight drops of lemon. You guys, that's super easy. You can have it in your um, 
Uh, if you're one who likes to exercise or you feel like you're losing your electrolytes, you can do something so easy right in your own home. You probably have all of those things at home already. Um, and then one thing to unclog the pipes. Um, that's another one is just peppermint, digest, ginger, and fennel. You can either drink it in warm water. You, like I said, you can put it under your tongue with the vitality or just put it right on your stomach. So I hope these tips help you um, to take care of your digestive system. And please share below what you are using for your digestive system to support it better. And have an awesome day. Thanks, Linda, for joining and Carol and Carrie and all the other friends that are joining me. Um, have a great evening.